Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien in Santa Baba here on the morning of Sunday, January 17th, 2021. Well, on Wednesday, January 20th, President-elect Biden will assume office as the 46th president. And I wanted to do a special program today and call it COVID-19, A Sober Look. So when President Biden takes over on January 20th, and these will be round figures because they'll be around there, the COVID-19 will be, and in the United States, it'll be almost 25 million infected and over 400,000 dead. In the world, it would be almost 100 million infected and over 200 million, 100,000 dead. Big figures, huh? But let's put this in perspective, shall we? Especially for you Americans. World War II. You lost anywhere from 400 to 460, depending on who you, uh, the figures. There, there, there's not a, a true figure there. So let's take the average of 400,000 Americans dead. It could be as high as 460,000, okay, from World War II. That's the actual war. And let's take the ending of the war as September 2nd, 1945. You sir, sent 6 million servicemen from 1941 to 45 served in the U.S. military, supposedly so the uh, American government says, 6 million. So if we take 6 million and we take the conservative figure of 400,000 dead, actual in the war, never came home, okay? But you know that the American government and other countries don't understand that you got the law of unintended consequences and the law of unintended causes, okay? So the other those 6 million that came home and the 400,000 that didn't. So you, you take that, that's 6 million, 10% uh, of that is 600,000, 1% is 60,000. So you got around almost 7% didn't make it back, okay? Now you take the 6 million and you say, okay, but some made it back wounded. And between 1945 and say 47, you say that 2% died of the 6 million that were wounded, you know, that, that came back wounded. So, so you take 2% of that, so that's, uh, like I said, 1% is 600,000, 10% is 600,000, 1% is 60,000, so 2% would be 120,000. So you take that 120,000 and say between 1945 and 2019, or 21 here, because most of them are dead. There's a few left, but not very many. But most of the World War II guys that served the six million, say another two percent got complications from the war, from gas, from uh, shrap metal, from whatever reason, and they died later in life, like 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, due to complications from the war wounds. Two percent of that. So like I said, one percent is uh, 60,000, another 120,000, so if you, if you take this conservatively, you got 240,000 plus the 400,000. So you got 640,000 actually died from World War II cause wounds. Whew. That's about as many as died in the uh, Civil War, in the actual war. Okay. Uh, now let's take the Vietnam War. You sent 500,000 between 1964 and 1973. 500,000. 58,000 of you plus were dead. So that's 10% uh, is 50,000. And 5%, 1% uh, would be 5,000. And you died, you've had 58,000 dead. So 5 times uh, 10. So you had a little over 10% of your people died in Vietnam in the actual war. 
And when the war ended in 1973 with the uh, peace accord, and the uh, POWs that came back between that, say between 1973 and 78, you had another 2% that died due to the consequences of their POW or war wounds. So you take 500,000, 50,000, 5,000, 2%, 10,000. So you got 10,000 there. And then you got another 2% between 1973 and today that are dying because of Agent Orge and other related Vietnam War things. So that's another 10,000. So you actually had almost 80,000 dead from Vietnam so far and counting. Okay. Now you put that in perspective, you go to the COVID-19. Like I said, as of January 20th, the figures are going to be around 25 million Americans infected and 400,000 plus dead. So if you take that, that's uh, 25 million, 10% is 200, uh, two and a half million, 1% is 250,000. So you, you have almost 2% dead already from COVID-19. And out of those uh, people that have recovered from COVID-19, say you have, what, uh, 11 million, 12 million recovered? So say you uh, out of those, or the 25 million infected, okay, let's take the 25 million infected. 2% of those are going to die after COVID-19 within a year because COVID-19 will be over, but the other things that they have will kill them because of COVID-19. So we'll say 2%. So another 500,000, uh, because remember, 25 million, 10%, 2.5 million, 1%, 250,000. So 2%, 500,000. So another 500,000 you add on to that. Okay, and then you take 25 million in between COVID-19 when it started in January and say 30 years from now, people that got over COVID-19 but got things that COVID-19 left for them like uh, lung issues, uh, heart issues, pancreas issues, liver issues, kidney issues, because COVID-19 is doing that to a lot of people. You take another 500,000. So you got 500, 500, a million added onto the 400,000. So, so far, and the number is counting, okay, as of January 20th, you have 1,400,000 people that are going to die if you keep the 25 million. But that number is going to be increasing. So at least you'll have 5 million of you dead based on the 25 million. If it keeps increasing, the number keeps increasing. Do you understand what I'm telling you, Americans? This is how serious a situation you're in and nobody's looking at it. This is your favorite alien in Santa Baba. Good day.